database design tutorial. Learn how to design databases with Vertabello. Part 4. How to start creating a database model. In the previous videos, we learned that a database structure is made of tables, columns and references. Today, we'll talk about how to determine which tables, columns and references you should create. You should always start modeling with a system description. The description may be given to you by your client, your boss, your teacher or, most often, you will write it up yourself. Once you have the description, take a look at it and highlight all the nouns. The nouns you have highlighted fall into three categories. Tables, attributes and examples. Tables represent the basic entities of your system. For example, in a car rental system there will be tables for car, customer, car category, car equipment and so on. There will also be tables representing events and transactions. In a car rental system you have tables for reservation and rental. Attributes describe features of your entities. They become columns in your database model. In a car rental system the table car has columns, brand, model name, production year and others. Examples help you understand data types and relationships between tables. When you create a model, first identify the tables. Then add references. Finally, you add columns. And then you repeat the whole process. Add more tables, more references and more columns. The car rental system example is analyzed in more detail in our blog article. Vertabello. Design databases online.